Hello everyone! Welcome back to our HTML from Basic to Advanced Master the Web course. Today is our 21st class. I'm the virtual teacher at LeConnect and we'll dive into the fascinating world of the HTML drag and drop API. Get ready to learn how to make interacting with your elements even more dynamic and engaging. What we're going to learn in class today is what is the drag and drop API? Core elements, draggables and drop zones, key events, drag start, drag end, drag over, and drop. To finish the lesson, let's do a practical example of how to create a drag and drop system. Let's start the class by finding out what is the drag and drop API. This is a powerful tool that allows for intuitive user interaction with interface elements. In essence, this API provides the ability to drag HTML elements and drop them to a desired position on the page, offering a more dynamic and personalized experience. The drag and drop API is built around the fundamental principle of making element manipulation as fluid as possible. When implemented correctly, it allows users to interact more intuitively with page elements, significantly improving the usability of a website. To understand it better, we can think of it as the magic behind the scenes that makes it possible for elements to move smoothly in the user interface. The API works in tandem with specific events and key elements to create an efficient and enjoyable drag and drop experience. Throughout this class, we'll unravel the secrets behind this API, exploring its nuances, the events that power it, and, of course, how to apply it to your own projects. That said, let's move on to the next topic. Main elements, draggables, and drop zones. These two protagonists play crucial roles in the successful implementation of this functionality, and understanding how they interact is essential to mastering the power of drag and drop. Draggable elements are those that can be dragged around the interface. They are defined as interactive and can be easily moved around by the user, providing a sense of control over the content. During implementation, it's crucial to identify which elements of your page should be marked as draggables to ensure a smooth and coherent dragging experience. See the syntax on the screen. Drop zones, on the other hand, represent the areas where draggable elements can be dropped. These specific areas are designated to receive the elements being dragged. By clearly defining the drop zones on your page, you create regions intended to receive the dragged elements, providing an organized and logical structure for user interaction. See the syntax on the screen. Moving on, next topic is key events. These events play distinct roles, creating a complex choreography that allows for smooth and intuitive interactivity between the elements of your page. The events are drag start, drag end, drag over, and drop. Let's explore each of them. The drag start event fires when the user initiates the process of dragging an element. It is at this point that information about the element being dragged is collected, preparing for the transfer. See the code for this event on the screen. On the contrary, the drag end event is triggered when the user completes the dragging process by dropping the element. Here, you can perform post-drag actions, such as updating the interface or performing any necessary logic after the element has moved. Here's what the code looks like. The drag over event is triggered when a draggable element is moved over an area designated as a drop zone. This event is crucial for providing visual feedback to the user, indicating that release is possible in that position. See the code on the screen. The drop event is triggered when the user drops the dragged element into a valid drop zone. It is at this point that the actual transfer of the element to its new position occurs, providing a complete and satisfying drag and drop experience. See the event code on the screen. Let's now apply the concepts we've discussed so far through a practical example. In this case, we'll create a drag and drop system using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The idea is to allow an image to be dragged from one frame to another. So let's go to VS Code.
And there you have it, folks. I hope this class has been enlightening and inspiring. Now it's time to put everything we've learned into practice. Try it, test it, and, of course, share your experiences in the comments. If you like this content and want more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and activate notifications so you don't miss the next lessons. And don't forget, we have a website packed with additional resources, including free blogs and courses, to further support your learning. The link is in the description. See you in the next lesson.